Hello everyone, welcome to Graphic Design Quick Start. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to turn a car black. We will be moving from this red car to this black car. Anytime you're changing the color of an object, at least you need color to work with. And if you're wondering if you can turn a white object black, that will be quite a challenge since the darkest shadow is between medium gray and light gray. And you really have to push the luminous levels to make the light gray is black and that introduces a lot of noise in your color. Let's go to starting composition. Go to the layers panel. What you need to do first is identify which channel gives you the darkest of black. Go to the color channels. Click on red. There is quite light. On green, there is quite dark. Click on blue. The blue introduces some highlights. So we'll be going with green. Go back to RGB. Click on the layers panel, create a new layer above a background layer. Let us name it black. Go to image, apply image. Under layer, choose background. Change the brilliant mode to normal. Under channel, choose green. Click OK. We've gone overboard. We need to limit our changes to black. For that, we do a selective selection. Let's switch off a black layer. Click on a background layer. Go to select. Color Lynch. Click on the red to sample the red color. Make sure your fuzziness is at 40, but you can always play around with your fuzziness to fit your image. Hold on Shift. Drag around the image toward the other right. Turn on a black layer. Click on it to make it active. Go to the bottom of the layers panel. Click on add mask button. There you have a black limited to the reds. Just in case you have some reds left over, click on the layer mask thumbnail. Pick the brush tool by pressing B. Make sure your foreground color is white. Press X to switch the foreground colors. Make sure your brush hardness is at 100. Press left bracket to reduce the size of your brush. Paint away the lights. Since you can never get this kind of gray black color, what you need is to fuse the ambient colors with our car. Well, there is this reflection of dark violet. I'm sure it's coming from these buildings. What you need to do is sample the ambient color. Pick the color dropper tool by pressing I. Sample the dark purples. Go to color panel. Check your hue, saturation, and brightness. And if you cannot see the hue, saturation, and brightness, click on the flyout menu icon and choose HSB sliders. Take note of the hue, saturation, and the brightness. Let's go back to our layers panel. Click on our background layer to make it active. Click on adjustment layers. Choose hue and saturation. Check color lines. Change hue to 280. Saturation, give it 5. Since the car is not a mirror, it will not necessarily reflect 100% of the colors. Turn on a black layer. Click on it to make it active. Change the blend mode to multiply. And there we have our ambient color included in the blacks. Now let us limit the ambient color to a selection. Hold on Alt and drag the layer mask on the black layer to duplicate it the hue and saturation layer. Let us also recover some of the highlights in our car. Double click on an empty area on the right of black. This brings up the layer style panel. Go to the other line layer. Drag the white stripe bar to 50. Hold on Alt and drag the white stripe bar on the right to spread it. Drag it to 255. Those give us a nice transition. Click OK. That's how the car looks like, the recovered highlights. That's how the car looks like with all the recovered highlights. Let me press F a couple of times. And that's how you turn a red car black in Photoshop. That's it for today. Like, share, and consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss out on upcoming episodes.